All right, we've got these Protoss Play XDR uh, competitors, I guess I'll call them, that I want to talk about. Yeah. Uh, should we start with the Samsung or the Dell? Let's do the Samsung because it's kind of... Remember a while ago they released the... Was it the M8, which was like the studio display competitor, yes. the smaller one? So yeah. now they stepped up and they're doing like the 32-inch Pro Display. I don't, actually, I don't know if it says 32-inch, but the like 5K webcam included. Uh, it's called the Samsung Viewfinity S9. Great. And I'm, I'm assuming a lot of these announcements are coming off just because it's around CES. And they're just like, here, here's some new stuff we came out with. So this is a, a new monitor. It's a 5K 27-inch monitor. It's got, actually, that might be wrong. Is it, and I think you're looking at the 27 inch for the M8. I don't. There's not a lot of information on this because it's getting released at CES this week. I just see 5K um, with a 4K camera can be used through Thunderport and supports USB C um, for data transfer and viewing and everything. So it's oh, yeah. it's 5K Thunderbolt webcam included. Like that's yeah. the main kind of things for it. Yeah. Also, I agree with you. Viewfinity S9 maybe not best name, but in the scale of monitor names, that's true. Probably S tier, just that's because fair. of how bad all of A them are. A sixteen twenty seven eight nine Q. Mm -hmm. yeah. WFP. Excellent. I will which, take Viewfinity S nine a hundred times. Over. Which we, I guess, we should probably just have an explainer video as to what those things mean. I generally, did that. generally, they do have a format for like this is the year, this is the screen size, this is yeah. whether or not it has anti glare. That's how I always remembered what model of Dell Ultra Short monitor I had because they had a very explicit system. It was like the U WFP, which is wide format panel, and then like. 3700 and like that would be the screen size and then the resolution it would all just be coded yeah. in the model number yeah which like that should be the model number not right. the name totally but <laughs> branding can be a thing you don't yeah. have to just use model numbers for everything <laughs> the samsung actually looks just as good as a pro display or yeah. a studio display it does I have think. a pop-up camera on the top which, which is, is a little like different. if you're gonna add a camera this is about as good as you can do that That's yeah. guess cool. what the camera sitting on top of my pro display looks worse than this yeah this looks great so this looks, this looks good to me is that a 1080p camera it uh, says hmm. 4K slim fit camera. 4K. Sure. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, good. It also has a little like IR sensor on the bottom because Samsung seems to do with all of their monitor, their bigger monitors TV lately stuff. that they're all, it has all Samsung smart TV capabilities. Yeah. Cool. Kind of cool. Tons of stuff Apple's display does not do. Yeah. So that's the Samsung. That's classic Samsung. I, I do appreciate that. And that is something I think I will actually really like to see. Uh, should we swap to the Dell then? We can. We should actually get this though, because we never got the M8, the smaller one, to right. actually try. Yeah. We should really try this one. I, I think this looks really see cool. See if the monitor is good or the webcam is good. Because the webcam, the Pro Display doesn't have a webcam, and the Studio Display has an okay webcam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a, a very okay. Webcam. After many software updates. Yeah. It took a lot yeah. <laughs> to be okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then Dell has one. Dell has a new 32 inch 6K Ultra Sharp monitor. It is uh, HDR 600 certified, so this isn't like Pro Display XDR type HDR. But as far as the rest of the things the panel will do, it has a webcam built in. It has dual 14 watt speakers. It has noise canceling mics. It will charge a laptop up to, up to 140 watts if you're plugged into it. Three USB C ports, two USB A ports, HDMI, Ethernet, mini Display Port, um, and two of the ports actually face forward. They'll pop out. Oh, they out. pop out. That's so kind of cool. That's like a solid amount of things that Apple's display doesn't do. But then you look at it, which like a monitor is something you have to look at. Let's be honest. Like you want, sure. your, if you want your desk and your setup to look nice, you have to look at your monitor. Yeah. And I think this is, I don't know, maybe you disagree with me. I think this is much uglier than I mean, the Apple one. This is Dell, uh, which means these are probably going to be used in, at, like, when I worked at Intel, we had all Dell monitors, right? Yeah. And if, if you, like if you're working in industry, like you probably don't really care what the monitor looks like. This is clearly made for video conferencing because that like webcam at the top is like really, really prevalent and it probably has really good mics and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's probably made for like business use cases. I should also note that the Dell 4K webcam that came out either last year or the year before, that was like the best webcam on the market for a very long time. And it's still considered one of the best webcams on the market. And the Opal C1 was kind of the webcam that was kind of fighting against it. Mm -hmm. That webcam is $200 on its own. So if you buy a monitor that has hopefully a similar styled webcam or a similar quality webcam, then like you can theoretically take $200 off of that 
theoretical yeah. price. But again, I, I think that this is mostly going to be for industry. Yeah, right. This, so the the big difference is who it's for. Like the right. pro display is a an imaging focused display. Mm -hmm. You're you're getting it because you're concerned about color. You're going to be Im image editing, video editing, like we do. Uh, and that's the primary focus of getting this. You get a bunch of these, they all match. Everyone can see the same media looking the same way. Uh, this one's not for that, but if you do want a bunch of pixels and a bunch of surface area and a webcam built in and high wattage charging for a machine, like that's what this is for. Is, I don't think there's a price yet. I, I, I don't see the see 20, 23 launch, but I don't see a price. If I'm guessing, it's gonna cost less than Apple's. I gotta say, there's no way this is not used outside of business because the specs are like 140 watt charging for laptops. When when you work at a large corporation, everyone uses a laptop and just docks into a display. Mm -hmm. It's got a security lock slot. I yep. mean, you're not Kenzie. gonna use that at home, Kenzie. Like, yeah. this is definitely gonna be for for large corporations. That's <laughs> there's fair. no way anyone else is using this. That's fair. They're not slotting Pro Display XDRs. No, there. <laughs> fair. No. Uh, okay, no, but I, I think I, I prefer the Samsung. I really like the Viewfinity S9, despite its terrible name. It's got and a big bezel on the bottom, but... I not mean, as big as I the Dell's, I, Dell's top bezel. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I hear people say that's a big bezel, but I look at it, and it's black, and it kind of fades away for me. Like, it is bigger, yeah, it's because it's big bigger deal. than the other ones, but I, I don't mind it. Yeah, It's not bad. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. Uh, while you guys are hitting the like button, I want to tell a quick anecdote. You know how we were saying that AirPods are really good stocking stuffers? Mm-hmm. Oh wait, no, air, air tags. tags. What did I say? AirPods. I mean, AirPods are a AirPods great would be stock. I said stuffer. AirPods. I meant air tags. But what I actually also just recently remembered is somebody did give somebody air tags as a stocking stuffer, and the person owned an iPhone, and the iPhone started to tell them that some new pair of air tags was following them around oh. at their own house. What? Because they'd already taken it out the box and like activated it and put them in the stocking. So if you're gonna get somebody air tags as a stocking stuffer, don't activate it. Let them set it Let up. Let them set it up. Otherwise it'll spoil the whole thing. The Christmas spirit. You wow. hit the like button by now? Good. <laughs>